У нас... А это не мы, что ли? Нет, а ну мы What's up gamers? Today we're rolling out of the garage in the Tuz 166. The 166 is an awesome smaller scouting vehicle, being both fun to drive and extremely agile on and off the road. The Tuz sports both permanent diff lock and all wheel drive to get it over any obstacles you might encounter and does well to present its iconic inspiration in SnowRunner. The unlicensed Tuz 166 is based on the 1953 GAZ69A making this the oldest truck featured in SnowRunner. These USSR military light trucks were introduced to replace the World War II era Gaz 67. In total, over 600,000 units rolled off assembly lines under both the Gaz and UAS badges and were widely used by the USSR until its replacement by the UAZ 469 in 1971. Powering the 69A was a 2.1 litre Gaz 69 inline 4 engine, outputting 55 horsepower and 125 newton metres of torque. This power plant equipped the Gaz 69 to deal with difficult and varied terrain, from the Siberian tundra to the Kazakh deserts. The Gaz 69A was not only an amazing military light truck, but was also the foundation for many other vehicles, several of which are available in the SnowRunner. The UAZ-469, UAZ-452 and the Lada Neva were all based on the Gaz-69A, with one model even being utilised as an anti-tank missile platform. This machine was well deserving of its adoration and still enjoys a following of enthusiasts today. The mechanical upgrades for the Tuz 166 are fairly standard, with it enjoying most base upgrades available to all scouts. Permanent diff lock and all-wheel drive are accompanied by the usual engine enhancements, roof rack, winches and snorkels, but the standouts are the suspension and gearbox options. The 166 can be fitted with the oversized tuned suspension upgrade, also seen on the Don 71. However, unlike the Don, this allows the Tuz to be fitted with a massive 39-inch tyre set, putting it almost on par with the likes of the Khan Marshall for ground clearance. It also enjoys a unique gearbox that's fitted at purchase called the Archaic Gearbox. This option for the Tuz is meant to increase the fuel efficiency of its small 60 litre fuel tank at the cost of being sensitive to impacts. Personally, I didn't notice a huge difference when I trialled it, so I often fit it with one of the other standard gearbox options. The Tuz 166 model looks great, and I have to say the small element changes they have made do well to mask the fact that it's not the real model. The side-on profile is almost a perfect match, right down to the front tow hooks, fuel cap and door panels. The only significant differences I could note were the horizontal grille pattern and the headlight position being swapped with the smaller fog lights. Overall, it's a great looking homage to the real truck. The cosmetic options for it were pretty lacking in selection, but what is available greatly add to the look of this classic truck. The searchlight in particular is an actual addition to the Real World 69A, but it also features a unique front bumper with a coiled winch cable that really gives it the look and feel of an older truck. The only slightly disappointing one was that the rear bumper customization options conflict with the spare tyre, making you choose between self-reliance in the field or towing capability. The handling and resourcefulness of the Tuz 166 are great. It can tow trailers with little issue, its roof rack makes it fairly self-reliant, and it's almost as capable in all terrains as the Khan Marshall, even with only a B plus power to weight rating. It handles well on all surfaces with the correct tyres fitted, and can ford waterways with little issue. It also has a very low centre of gravity, but it does tend to be too fast for its own good, which can lead to it ending up on its side when you misjudge a turn or lose the battle with the auto centre steering. There really isn't many negatives to say about this truck apart from its fuel tank size, although even that now appears to be a positive thanks to the reduction that the Marshall received. 
Overall, the TUS 166 is a very well executed scout and snow runner, and pays great respect to its inspiration. It's impressive both on and off road, and is just a very fun scout to drive. You can play seriously with it, or you can drift it around the roads of Michigan, and that's just awesome to have that kind of freedom in snow runner. I thoroughly recommend this truck to anyone that hasn't given it a go. So if you enjoyed this look at the old school TUS 166 or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you all in Tamiya soon.